The transition of the Australian Army's aviation capability has reached a definitive turning point as the first month of 2026 unfolds. At the Royal Australian Air Force Base Townsville, the arrival of the Boeing AH-64E Apache Guardian marks more than just the procurement of a new airframe. It signifies a fundamental shift in how the Australian Defence Force intends to project power in the littoral environments of the Indo-Pacific. By early January 2026, the delivery schedule for Project Land 4503 has gained significant momentum, with six aircraft now firmly established on Australian soil. These initial units, which began arriving in late September 2025 and continued through the final quarter of the year, represent the vanguard of a 29 aircraft fleet destined to redefine the Australian Army's offensive reconnaissance and strike capabilities. The strategic logic behind this transition is rooted in the shortcomings of the predecessor, the Tiger Armed Reconnaissance Helicopter, and the evolving requirements of the 2024 National Defense Strategy. For years, the Tiger fleet faced criticism regarding its sustainment costs and its difficulty in maintaining high availability rates. In contrast, the Apache AH-64E version 6, the most advanced iteration of the platform, offers a proven off-the-shelf solution that aligns perfectly with the United States Army's primary attack platform. This commonality is not merely a matter of convenience. It is a strategic imperative for interoperability. In a region where multi-domain operations are becoming the standard, the ability for an Australian Apache to seamlessly share data with United States or allied assets via Link 16 and advanced tactical data links is a force multiplier that the Tiger simply could not match. Central to this new era is the transformation of Townsville into the nation's premier attack aviation hub. The relocation of the 1st Aviation Regiment from Darwin to Townsville was a massive undertaking, but the strategic benefits are becoming clear in early 2026. By consolidating the Apache fleet in North Queensland, the Australian Defence Force has positioned its most potent air-to-ground assets in close proximity to the Navy's landing helicopter docks based in Sydney and Brisbane, and the major training areas of the North. This geographical alignment is essential for the literal manoeuvre concept, where the Apache is expected to operate from ship to shore, providing cover for amphibious landings, and conducting deep strike missions against maritime and coastal targets. To support this, the Commonwealth has invested approximately 700 million Australian dollars into the infrastructure at Royal Australian Air Force Base Townsville, including specialized hangars, maintenance facilities, and sophisticated simulation centers. The technological leap provided by the AH-64E version 6 is particularly evident in its sensor suite and networking capabilities. At the heart of the platform is the Longbow Fire Control Radar, which, in the version 6 configuration, has been enhanced to detect and track maritime targets, a specific requirement for the Australian theatre. This allows the Apache to operate effectively in the grey zone of the littoral environment, identifying small, fast-moving surface vessels that might threaten Australian naval assets. Furthermore, the inclusion of manned-unmanned teaming, or MUM-T, allows Australian pilots to control the sensors and flight paths of unmanned aerial vehicles directly from the cockpit. This capability is expected to be a cornerstone of future operations, where the Apache acts as a command and control node for a swarm of drones keeping the manned platform out of the range of enemy air defenses while still delivering precision effects. The financial scale of this undertaking reflects its importance to national security. The total project cost is estimated at approximately 4 billion 200 million Australian dollars. 
This investment covers not only the 29 aircraft, but also the vast logistical tail required to keep them flying. In a significant move for local industry, Boeing Defense Australia secured a maintenance contract valued at 306 million Australian dollars over an initial seven-year period. This ensures that a substantial portion of the sustainment work remains within Australia, specifically in the Townsville region. The opening of the Townsville Aviation Training Academy at Memti Luisa in January 2026 further underscores this commitment. This facility is tasked with producing the next generation of Australian aviation technicians and engineers, ensuring that the skills required to maintain the world's most sophisticated attack helicopter are cultivated locally. Critical analysis of this procurement often focuses on the changing nature of warfare, particularly the lessons learned from recent conflicts in Europe where unmanned systems have challenged the dominance of traditional manned platforms. However, the Australian perspective emphasizes that the Apache is not intended to operate in isolation. In the 2026 context, the Apache is viewed as a highly mobile, armored sensor platform that can survive in environments where smaller drones might be jammed or destroyed. Its ability to carry a diverse payload, from Hellfire missiles and joint air-to-ground missiles to 70mm rockets and the 30mm chain gun, provides a level of persistent firepower and psychological impact that unmanned systems cannot yet replicate. The Australian Army's integration of the Apache into a wider system of systems includes coordination with the MQ-28A Ghost Bat and other sovereign drone programs, creating a layered defense and offense capability. As the 1st Aviation Regiment works toward achieving initial operational capability by the end of 2026, the focus has shifted to intensive pilot and ground crew training. The delivery of the first six aircraft has allowed the commencement of local conversion courses, moving away from a total reliance on training facilities in the United States. The 2026 training cycle is expected to involve complex exercises in the Townsville Field Training Area, testing the aircraft's performance in the heat and humidity of North Queensland. These trials are critical for validating the Australianization of the platform's tactics, ensuring that the Apache can operate effectively from the decks of the Canberra-class vessels during heavy seas and in the dense tropical terrain of Australia's northern approaches. Looking further ahead, the delivery schedule anticipates a steady stream of aircraft arriving throughout 2027 and 2028, with the full fleet of 29 expected to be operational by 2029. This long-term roadmap provides the Australian Army with a clear trajectory for modernization. The shift to the AH-64E represents a move away from the niche capabilities of the past toward a robust, scalable, and highly lethal force that is fully integrated with Australia's most important strategic partners. In the eyes of regional observers, the sight of Apaches operating out of Townsville is a clear signal of Australia's intent to maintain a credible deterrent and a high-end combat capability in an increasingly contested maritime domain. In conclusion, the progress seen in Townsville during the early days of 2026 is a testament to a well-executed, though expensive, strategic pivot. The arrival of the first six Apache Guardians and the establishment of local training and maintenance infrastructure represent the successful first phase of a project that will define Australian land force power for the next three decades. By prioritizing interoperability, littoral maneuver, and local sustainment, the Australian Defence Force is ensuring that its investment in the AH-64E version 6 yields a capability that is not only world-class, but also uniquely suited to the specific challenges of the Indo-Pacific. The journey toward full operational status remains long, but the foundation laid in North Queensland this year 
suggests that the Australian Army Aviation Branch is more than ready for the challenges of the modern battlefield. 